Hello, everyone, again, and welcome to today's webinar on post-resuscitation care in PALS. If a person has a return of spontaneous circulation, or ROSC, start post-resuscitation care immediately. The initial PALS process is intended to stabilize a child or an infant during a life-threatening event. Post-resuscitation care is meant to optimize ventilation and circulation, preserve organ tissue function, and maintain recommended blood glucose levels. Below, you can find the systematic approach followed by a post-resuscitation care algorithm to guide you in your treatment. So, for the respiratory system, you need to gain a chest x-ray to verify the ET tube placement, Get an arterial blood pressure or blood gas, excuse me, or ABG and correct acid base disturbance. Pulse oximetry, continuously monitor. Heart rate and rhythm, continuously monitor. End tidal CO2, if the person is intubated. Maintain adequate oxygenation with a saturation between 94 and 99%. Maintain adequate ventilation to achieve a PCO2 between 35 to 45 millimeters of mercury unless otherwise indicated, and intubate if the oxygen and other interventions do not achieve adequate oxygenation. You need to maintain a patent airway in the child with decreased level of consciousness, and ventilation is not possible through non-invasive means um, such as continuous positive airway pressure or CPAP. Control pain with analgesics and anxiety with sedatives. For the cardiovascular system, you should get an arterial blood gas or ABG and correct the acid-base disturbances. Hemoglobin and hematocrit um, transfuse or support as needed. Heart rate and rhythm, continuously monitor. Blood pressure, continuously monitor with arterial line. Central venous pressure or CVP, urine output. Chest x-ray, 12-lead ECG. Consider echocardiography. Maintain appropriate intra vascular volume, treat hypotension, use vasopressors if needed, and titrate blood pressure. Pulse oximetry, continuously monitor, maintain adequate oxygenation with a saturation between 94 and 99 percent, and correct metabolic abnormality such as a chemistry or through a chemistry panel. For the neurological system, you're going to elevate the head of bed if the blood pressure can sustain cerebral perfusion. For the temperature, avoid hypothermia and treat a fever aggressively. Do not rewarm hypothermic cardiac arrest person unless hypothermia is interfering with cardiovascular function. And treat hypothermia complications as they arise. For blood glucose, treat hypo or hyperglycemia. Hypoglycemia is defined as less than or equal to 60 mg's per dl. And monitor and treat seizures um, with seizure medicines and remove metabolic or toxic causes. For also the blood pressure, you should continuously monitor with an arterial line. Maintain cardiac output and cerebral perfusion. Normal ventilation unless temporizing due to inter intracranial swelling. Frequent neurological exams. Consider a CT and or EEG. Dilated unresponsive pupils, hypertensions, bradycardia, respiratory irregulars, irregularities, excuse me, or apnea may indicate cerebral herniation. For the renal system, monitor urine output for infants and children or in small children greater than 1 milliliter per kilogram an hour and for larger children greater than 30 milliliters an hour. Exceedingly high urine output could indicate neurological or renal problems such as diabetes insipidus. Um, routine blood chemistries, arterial blood gas or ABG and correct acid-base disturbances, urinalysis when indicated. Maintain cardiac output and renal perfusion. Consider the effect of medications on renal tissue. Consider urine output in the context of fluid resuscitation. And toxins can sometimes be removed with urgent emergent hemodialysis when antidotes fail or are not available. For the gastrointestinal system, monitor nasogastric or orogastric tube for patency and residuals. Perform a thorough abdominal exam. Tense abdomen may indicate a bowel per perforation or hemorrhage. 
Consider abdominal ultrasound and or abdominal CT. Routine blood chemistries including a liver panel. Arterial blood gas, ABG, and correct the acid-base disturbances. And be vigilant for bleeding into the bowel, especially after a hemorrhagic shock. For the hematological system, monitor complete blood count and coagulation panel. Transfuse as needed. Correct thrombocytopenia. Fresh frozen plasma is to replenish clotting factors. Consider calcium chloride or gluconate if massive transfusion required. And correct metabolic abnormalities with a chemist check for with a chemistry panel and especially after a transfusion. So we're going to go through the pedi pediatric post-resuscitation um, care algorithm. So you want to optimize ventilation, ventilation and oxygen. So titrate the FiO2 to maintain oxygen saturation between 94 and 99%. Consider an advanced airway placement and waveform capnography. Then assess for threat persistent shock. Identify and treat reversible causes. Consider 10 to 20 milliliters per kilogram IV IO boluses of isotonic crystalloids. Consider inotropic and or vasopressor support. If they have hypotensive shock, um, you can use epinephrine, dopamine, or norepinephrine. Um, monitor and treat agitation and seizures. Monitor and treat hypoglycemia. Assess blood gas, serum, electrolytes, calcium. And if the patient remains comatose after resuscitation from cardiac arrest, consider therapeutic hypothermia. Consider specialist consultation and patient transport to a tertiary care center. If it's normotensive shock, then you can consider delivering dopamine butamine, dopamine, epinephrine, and milrinone. Um, also consider treating reversible cause causes such as hypovolemia, hypoxia, acidosis, hypothermia, hypo or hyperkalemia, cardiac tamponade, um, toxins, tension pneumothorax, pulmonary thrombosis, or coronary thrombosis. Thank you so much for tuning into today's webinar. Don't forget, we offer online PAL certification on our site. We encourage you to become certified as soon as possible, whether that be on your own time in an online course or in an in-classroom setting. You can find a link to our course in the description below. So thank you guys again. I hope you have a good rest of your day.